Hello children, welcome back to our EVS 1 class. Today we are going to learn a new lesson. Before that, let us pray. Join your hands, close your eyes as we now recite the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Glory, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Children, we belong to the state of Maharashtra. So, in our today's lesson, my district, my state, we are going to learn something more about our state, Maharashtra. Children, what do you see in this picture? Yes, it's a tree. Now, children, to be complete, a tree must have several components such as leaves, small branches, big branches, a trunk, root, etc. Children, in the same way, our state too is made up of many settlements, villages, towns, talukas and districts. Now children, let us understand how our districts and states were formed. Children, Man began to farm the land. His fields were near water. He settled near his farm and began to live there. In this way, hamlets and settlements were formed. Children, hamlets means a small settlement smaller than a village is. Villages, cities and towns Together form a taluka. Many taluka forms a district and many districts form a state. Children, to understand this better, let us take the example of our school. Children, our school is in the Baikila area, which is in the city Mumbai which belongs to the district Mumbai city and all this comes under the state of Maharashtra. Children, now let us learn about the physical features of Maharashtra. Children, let us study the physical map of our state Maharashtra. The title of the map is Maharashtra State Physical, the four main directions, the scale and the index. Now children, our first question is, what is the name of the mountain that spreads from north to the south in our state Maharashtra? Now come on children, tell me, what is the name of the mountainous region? That spreads from north to south. Yes. Can you see this? It is Sayadri Mountain. Now children, the second question is, What is the name given to the region to the west of this mountain? What is the name given here children? Yes. Konkan region. Can you see children? Konkan region. Now, on the shore of which sea does this region lie? Which sea children you can see here? Tell me. Very good. The Arabian Sea. Now children, our fourth question. What is the area to the east of Sayadri mountain called? Now, this area is called as Maharashtra Plateau. Can you see this? Maharashtra 
plateau what is the name of the mountain in the northern part of our state to the northern part right here on the top satpuda mountain now which is the river in our state which flows from the east to the west the river that flows from east to the west now can you see your children the arrow it shows the river tapi it flows from east to west now the next question is write the name of two rivers which flows from north east to south east direction now children two rivers okay now look at the arrow here we can see river godavari and river bhima which flows from north east to south east direction river godavari and river bhima our next question write the names of any two rivers which have their origin in sayadri mountain in sayadri mountain and flows to the arabian sea okay now we have to find the two rivers from the sayadri mountains and which meets the arabian sea let me zoom now we have your river savitri and river vaishishti now they are in the sayadri mountain ranges which goes to the arabian sea we have to find the ranges which originate in the sayadri mountains and spread to east okay now here you can see harichandra balghat and mahadev range harichandra balghat range and mahadev range name the important ghats in the sayadri mountains now we have to name the important ghats in sayadri mountain let me zoom it okay now here you can see i found one bor ghat tamhani ghat children let us learn certain important things about our state maharashtra mumbai is the capital of maharashtra state nagpur is the second capital according to its physical features maharashtra is divided into three regions the coastal region the mountainous region and the plateau region the river godavari is the longest river in maharashtra the satpuda mountain is in the northern part of maharashtra the highest peak in the satpuda mountain is asthamba The Sayadri Mountains are also called the Western Ghats. Kalsobai in this mountain is the highest peak in Maharashtra. The Arabian Sea is to the west of the state. Children, I am sure you all must have understood the lesson. So let's do a quick revision of what we have learned today many hamlets and settlements form a village many villages form a city many cities form a taluka many talukas form district 
and many districts form a state. According to the physical features, Maharashtra is divided into the three regions, the coastal region, the mountainous region and the plateau region. The Arabian Sea is to the west of Maharashtra. The Sayadri Mountain is in the western part of the Maharashtra. It is also called the Western Ghat. Kalsubai in this mountain is the highest peak in Maharashtra. Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra state. Nagpur is the second capital. Children, we shall continue with the lesson tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye.